Hey you guys, this is Brittany's, Brittany's Creations. Let's move this here. Let's just put this over here. Um, so I have a, well I have a haul, but not for this video. This is part two of my craft fair haul. So I got really sick, so I didn't have the time to make everything I wanted to this first for this first craft show. So I'm going to show you what I was able to get done within that period of time. Um, and... Um, I'll be having more Halloween projects and lots of swaps coming up, so stay tuned for that, and my giveaway challenge, so I do have lots of other things going on, um, so stay tuned for that, because I have another show on the day before Halloween, so, um, yeah, I'm excited, so, alright, where am I going to start, alright, first off, um, we made, well, my company made, um, Crayons, recycled crayons. So we did Halloween ones, we also did Christmas ones, so I'll show you both because I got them both done in this video um, and they're all packaged up. The Halloween ones are packs of four because they're smaller and then the Christmas ones are packs of one because they're bigger and the Halloween ones are skulls, spider webs, pumpkins, brains, or spiders. So just to show you, these are crayons that we molded. And I'll just show you guys the crayons. So they're super cool. I love how they came out. Especially the skulls and the brains are my favorite. The pumpkins look kind of crappy because they just look round. But they're pumpkins. So, you know, there's not much you can get from them. This brain's really cool. And then I also did, and then these are the last two. Packs. And then I said I did Christmas ones. So again, they are packaged up. So I have a snowflake, a wreath. These are just the shapes. I'm showing you one of each. A bell, an angel. Um, we got... There is a present too, but they kept breaking, so I don't have an example of them. I have Frosty the Snowman. A mitten. I have a boy and a girl gingerbread man. Um, a Christmas tree, a stocking, and a star. So there are ones like the mittens or the star or the bell or the snowflake or um, even the wreath and the snowman that can symbolize winter. So they don't necessarily have to be for Christmas, especially if some people don't celebrate Christmas, but they like winter. Um, or Hanukkah and stuff like that. So, yeah, those are done. And then, um, we worked on, well, I worked on, I keep saying we, but, um, I worked on more of the, I finished all the coffin boxes. This took me two and a half days to finish all of these for the painting, and I had to take off all of the finishing and then re-put it on after I put all the stuff on it. So they're all made up the same way. Paper, washi tape, the paper I cut out, I had cut out, and then um, distress, same thing on the inside. This one has a image on the inside, um, but yeah. So here's the first one. I won't go into detail, but if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask, but this is the sugar skull one. Um, I have this uh, white, black, and orange one. Um, and I use, on the majority of them, I use the creepy cloth, I use fibers, rosettes, all that, and just layers of pieces and stuff. This one has a skull and a snake. And you can see this is washi tape, this is paper, this is the paper I used. And then the inside of that one. Then I did this one using steampunk spells paper. I made my own flower out of the paper, again with the creepy cloth and the fibers. There's a pumpkin and things that go bump in the night. And there we go. And this one has the glitter washi tape. So this one I love. Here's another one. Lots of fun. So just lots of layering. Um, I use gold washi on here. This one says boo on the inside. Actually, no, it says boo on the outside. And the skeletons. Sorry, I put a ghost on it. 
Then I have another sugar skull wand. This is more like a vintage wand with a doily and, you know, just layer. This one has the orange glitter tape. I'm not going to open the rest of them, but... Then I did these where I used the embellishments that Karen made me. Thank you, Karen. Um, and I sprayed them with gold glimmer mist. You can see that they're nice and gold and sparkly. This one has a rosette. And you can see how this is sprayed with gold. I used this washi tape on here. I love that one. And then here's the other two. So this one used the stripes. Um, this one I didn't spray, I just left it, and I have the fiber and the creepy cloth, and I tucked in one of those cupcake picks that's a ghost. And then again, this one, this one, um, I don't think I sprayed gold either, but again, the creepy cloth and the fiber. This one has the gold tape. This one, steampunk spells is also. And then the last one I did is a Ouija board one. Um, and I use this skull washi and again just the fibers creepy cloth I have the Ouija board a glittery spider from Michaels and then these are stickers that you know the skeleton hand and the lantern and I love this one so super cool so that's those then the next thing um, I did a custom order so these are not for my craft shows but it is a custom order I did. So I showed you how I did the, these are for my craft show, the mini ones. Um, I made large ones like this for a school teacher. So they all look like this and I'm gonna put them in a bag and package them up. I just wanted to show you first. And I have the ribbon and the tool and the, these I used the pieces from Walmart so I can show you. I think I used one of each. So I'll just show you some of the examples. So they're just super, super, super cute, you guys. Uh, let's see, which ones did I not show you? Um, here's some more. I just love how these came out. The rest of them are pretty much the same besides there's this one other pumpkin. Or no, I showed you that one, sorry. There's this pumpkin and the candy and then the pretty much the, all of the other ones are the same. So I made a bunch of the I made those for a custom order so those are so much fun you guys they were time consuming though with like curling the ribbon and stuff though which sucked but totally worth it um and then I worked on um I showed you in the first part um this cup I did and I went a little more advanced and crazy with these um and I don't know why I didn't do that on here. I guess I just, I don't know. This one's more flat. The other ones are very, I'll just show you. So um, I have two purple and green ones. And then I have a black and orange Halloween one. And then I did one fall one. So let me show you the, um, the purple and green ones. So here's the first one. It's a purple cop. Um, I have green bling trim, pink with the green pearls. And I have a whole bunch of stuff in here. I have a bat, spiders, bling, um, all these different pieces on here, the dragon eyes, and all these um, pieces from Recollection, the big bling piece, the snake, um, the spider, and more bling. This is an arty cake with a witch hat I put on there. I have some acrylic roses, a frog, um, a bat, more of the bling crystals and another um flower and there's another one there so just tons and tons of layers of stuff and i just loved making these they were so much fun time consuming but worth it this is the next one i did this one has a rat on it with the witch hat and again has all the bling and stuff on it with the bats you have the witch pieces i have a spell potion on here again the frog and the recollection pieces a spider a skull I actually have one of the cemetery uh, tombstones on here. Um, Drag and I put on all of them and the bling. And this one has a glow in the dark snake on it. So lots of fun. Really pretty. So those two. And then I also did the traditional Halloween one. This one I think is my favorite. Actually, I don't know which one's my favorite. I love this one. And then I love this one. And then I'm in love with the fall one. The fall one has so many beautiful vintage jewelry pieces on it it's gorgeous anyways so this one i have the rose gold and the black and the gold bling on it and i have a skull head i have bling i have a 
a mirror with the dragon eye, I have a bat, I have acrylic roses, a centipede, um, all these um, orange buttons and the, you know, these embellishments and stuff, those button embellishments. Um, I have a giant glittered spider, I have a heart, cami uh, heart um, anatomical heart cameo on here, I have one of the cupcakes, there's a um, pumpkin back there, and just so much fun, um, and then I have this big bling piece here, this flower, I have a cameo, and another acrylic flower here, and a candy corn, these are just so much fun you guys, and I love them, so, and I can custom order these. Um, and then this is the fall one. Yeah, I know you guys. It's so pretty. So I have a leaf. I have this beautiful cameo metal piece here. I have the tree. I have the glittered leaves. I have the raven skull. Um, bling, the acrylic flowers, pumpkins. This is a metal butterfly with a metal cherub. A more bling. I put that cupcake on here. This is an arty cake piece I painted. So it's a metal piece. This is a vintage earring. I have more of the leaves, pine cones, pumpkins, the buttons, more pumpkins, acrylic flowers, and there's a little pumpkin tucked back there. Another beautiful jewelry piece and a flower here. So these were so much fun to do. And I would love to get your opinions on these. Let me know. They were lots and lots of fun to do. So that's another piece. And I will fit one more thing into this video, which are some potion bottles. I did not get to finish all of them, but I will show you what I got to finish. So the first thing is the spider one. So there's this um, glass here with the spider webbing. You have the spider with all the babies in there, and they are glittered. These are the eggs, and this is just sand. And it came out so cool, you guys. I wish you could see the glittered... Um, baby's better. I don't know if you can kind of see it. See, you can kind of see it outside. That really pretty glitter I added. So this one is my, I love this one. So I did that one. And then I did this one, which is a big one. This is Wicked Spirit. Um, that I put this rub on on here. This is the one from Target. And this one I left loose. And it's just tons and tons of, it was like a little bit of every single Halloween glitter I had and then I have a ton of this gold heart ones in there and then the rest is just glitter and every single type of um Halloween one I had because I wanted to make a huge thing so it was so much fun and then up here I have this awesome piece up here for the top along with this beautiful fiber that's wrapped around it and the little stringy pieces and the tool, the witch's hat, and I actually have the broom attached, which I think is so cute. And I just love how this came out. I love this skeleton. He's like, his face is like the best. So I did that one. And then the rest of them, actually, no. Um, I have this one, which I have to put the rub on, which is cremated bat wing. So I have the bat with the the sand as if it like you know cremated so and I just have to put this stuff on it and this is actually a rusted vintage bottle uh, apothecary bottle and then the rest I had soap in this one actually had water in it and it got kind of messed up a little bit um it turns like brown it was supposed to be like a pink rose color like this and it was but then like something happened um there are like blue flakes in there I don't know if you can see it and then there's pebbles See the blue on the bottom? There we go. There's blue, which does move around. And then I have pebbles in there. So it's a little difficult to see on camera, but this is an elixir. And I have it wrapped with that, with this piece here. So there's that one. That one I'm not the happiest with. Um, then I did my love potion one. I have a chest piece and the, the heart. And they, they have... The hearts in there and you know see the hearts and everything I have to cover the bottom <laughs> I still have to do that um, and it does move around you just have to like mess with it but it ended up sitting to the bottom which I don't mind still looks cool but there's that the next one is this one here super cute again with the tool the ribbons and spider and then this piece is from Target and I have a Tim Holtz knob up here this one has a purple snake in it and tons of glitter 
and those little boo if you can see it it says boo so there's tons of them in here you can see them in there kind of sort of so I love how this one came out and then I also have this one this is a green one again with the witch hat the bone the tool and the ribbon I have little potions this one has a black snake and tons of glitter in there um, so I love that one and then I also did my big skull one which is super heavy and this one you can shake it and it will move all this glitter does move around you just have to shake it but I'm not going to do it on camera because you know that's going to be too much but that's you can see the glitter in there you just have to shake it so yeah and then the topper is an eyeball and I have the spider and stuff so yeah let me know what you guys think actually I have a few minutes um I will just show these to you I will not go into I guess actually no I'll just do a minute seven video so thanks for watching guys please subscribe and follow me on my Facebook and